So it's totally acceptable to buy winter items in the summer, right? Hey guys and welcome back. Thank you for stopping by. So today we're doing two small unboxings. The first one is actually a winter item that I've been wanting for a very long time and I finally finally went ahead and got it and I want to do the unboxing with you today. The second one is a pair of sunglasses that I just purchased and I wanted to show you because since we are entering summer, I'm sure a lot of you are now trying to get some new sunglasses and I wanted to show you which ones are my favorite and the way they look and how they look on me so um, the first one is the winter unboxing and what I got is from Farfetch and um, Farfetch is just a web uh, website that I just started buying from um, you've probably already heard of it and they were having some sales and I went ahead and took advantage of the sale I got 10% off I did purchase two other handbags which aren't here yet um, but this item did come so I wanted to show this to you now and this is actually coming from Brimsdown United Kingdom and the shipping was so so fast um, and it's such a pretty little box they have their little sticker there with the flag and um, I wanted to show you what I got I already opened this so it's not a true true unboxing but I did want to show you the way it came packaged um, so it comes in this little box right there and you can see the far-fetched name and it comes with its little envelope I dropped a little thing here and now I guess this is one of the brands that they sell it's browns and um, in here I got in case I wanted to return anything I got another one of those little stickers and some more decals here one from Farfetch one from Browns and all the information and receipt in this nice little envelope um, and what I got came in this little dust bag and it's a Browns dust bag as well here, let me show you what I got so like I said this is an, a winter item that I've been wanting for a really long time it's such a classic piece and such a staple yay! so it's a Burberry um, cashmere scarf and I've been wanting it for a while so I finally went ahead and got it since I was gonna get the 10% off I thought that was a really good deal um, so I went ahead and did it so we have the um, Burberry tag here and also the Farfetch tag and yeah, like I said, this came from uh, United Kingdom, and it's super, super soft and beautiful, and this is going to be in my wardrobe forever. It's like something that's not going to go out of style. It is super classic, like I said, and I just think it's so beautiful. So I went ahead and got it now. I know I'm not going to be able to use it yet, but I mean, who cares? I mean, <laughs> I'll put it away and then... I'll use it whenever it gets a little bit colder. So, that's my first one. My second unboxing is a pair of sunglasses that I bought yesterday. Um, the, mall, the malls are just starting to open here where I live, um, but not all of the stores. Uh, Macy's was open and there's a sunglass hut in Macy's so I went ahead and got a pair of my favorite brand which is Tiffany so Tiffany & Co is my favorite brand for sunglasses um, and the ones that I got then inside the little box oh, this is my receipt a little booklet you always get the little cloth to wipe your glasses with what is this another little book booklet I guess um, and you always get this hard case, this Tiffany hard case. And the glasses that I got are these. And they are super cat eye. And actually, I think that's what they're called, cat eye. I did try to go on the Tiffany website to find these for you. And I did find them. And um, let me see. They are called cat eye sunglasses. I don't know if you'll be able to see that right there, but those are the glasses. Those are these glasses. 
and they're called cat eye and I'll describe them for you so these are the gold colored ones they do have um, champagne color and they have the Tiffany blue ones too which I debated between these and the Tiffany blue because I already have a pair that looks similar to this which I'll show you in a little bit here but they're so beautiful let me show you the legs and they just say Tiffany & Co there with of course their signature blue on the tips there. Here's the inside. I don't know if you can see that um, made in Italy right there. But I think these are so adorable. So like I said, they do have these in the Tiffany blue color, which I debated between. Um, and the reason why I didn't get those was because this hardware is gold and the Tiffany blue ones are actually silver. So all of this hardware on the sides right here in the nose piece, it is silver and most of my handbags are um, gold colored hardware. So and actually I was wearing this yesterday, I was wearing my Felici and you know that gold chain that the Felici comes with. It kind of clashed with the silver hardware that I was wearing on these sunglasses. So that is what really determined um, what I was going to do which was to pick these because that color kind of clashed so I didn't want to do that but um, those are super beautiful too if you want to get the ones um, with the silver hardware you know if you don't care about that or if you like mixing your metals I really don't mind but it's just I don't know I just really like these better so I'm gonna try them on again just so you can see and what the side looks like there and then this side like that and the actual lenses are brown gradient and um, these are called the cat eye like I said and if you were interested in the price um, these are 360 US dollars so I'm gonna put these up and I will show you my next pair um, which ones are these? I want to go ahead and show you the ones that look like those. So, you know, they come in this case, the same thing. These actually came in a soft case, and I think it's because um, of two of these I bought at Sunglass Hut, and they don't include the soft case, and then these I actually bought at a Tiffany store. So they had the little soft case. So. Alright, so these beautiful ones are called pilot sunglasses and that's what I really don't like I was searching for these online for you guys so that I could give you exact names and numbers but they don't have any I mean it's not um, it's not specific to glasses they're either called sun they're called cat eyes or they're called pilot or something like that so I'm, I really do apologize I want to show you what I did find on my phone in case you did find them on the website and you weren't sure if it was um, the ones you were looking for or not so these right here, they're called the Pilot Sunglasses, so you can see the glasses here. And then the ones I found online look just like that. And it's these exact same sunglasses. Uh, so this, uh, this metal is a rose gold colored metal. And again, they do have that Tiffany blue tip on the ends. Um, also on the legs, you see very little bit of... Tiffany & Co with a little T right here on the corner and the front of the glasses look like that and they are completely mirrored and these also come in different colors they do come in gold and in the Tiffany blue as well and that they are just beautiful right now I have a little bit of smudging but I wanted to show you the top of the glasses too uh, you probably can't see it because it's so mirrored but it does say Tiffany & Co on the front of them and a little bit of description on these. I'm going to try these on for you so you can see what they look like on me. And of course, they're totally, totally mirrored. And I really, really like these. They're so pretty. I'll turn to the side so you can see. And the front. The other side. So as you can see, I'll take these back out. They are very similar. 
um, to these that I just bought, just that these aren't mirrored. These are more cat eye, these are more of a round lens. Um, of course, this is mirrored with a brown gradient lens, and this is not mirrored, but it, they do have a brown gradient lens. Oh, I'm sorry, these are um, gray gradient lens, and these are brown gradient lens. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, so yeah, they do look kind of similar. I'll do a side by side. These are just more of a cat eye, like I said. And then these are way more like out there in your face. <laughs> And both of these look gorgeous in the blue color. So if you want um, a Tiffany blue, I would say one of these two look beautiful. This one especially. <laughs> All right, so let me put these away and let's move on to the next Tiffany. If you were wondering on the price for these, um, the ones I just showed you, the mirrored ones, these are $340 US dollars. And my next one is... They're just called the Pilot Sunglasses. Um, and these are a little bit more of what a, a normal standard um, sunglass look like. These, on the other hand, do have silver hardware here and a gradient blue lens. And then on the inside, you still see the Tiffany blue and on the tips, on the legs here as well. They all do have that. Um, the arms say Tiffany & Co. as well. And so does the front of the glasses right there. So I'm gonna try these on for you so you can see what they look like on. These are also a pair of my favorites. <laughs> Like I said, Tiffany is my favorite brand for sunglasses. I just feel like they're so feminine um, and very good quality. I've had um, those mirrored ones for a while now and they have not gotten loose. Uh, I haven't scratched them and I don't baby them, so that tells you something. Um, I really like these too and I like the having the silver hardware for when I do change my bags to silver hardware ones, but um, it really doesn't matter to a lot of people so so that's what these look like and on the tiffany site if you were interested in these they are just called like i said the tiffany i lowered the um the brightness on my phone maybe that'll help a little bit um let's see so they look like that and they're just called the pilot sunglasses and if you were interested in price, these are the lesser ones. These are $310. And a little bit of description. It just says that they are black and Tiffany blue with gradient blue lenses. So yeah, I was pretty much right. They are gradient blue lenses with the signature Tiffany color. Alright. Those are the only Tiffany ones that I have, so I only have three pairs of those. Moving on to Louis Vuitton. I only have this one pair of Louis Vuitton sunglasses, and these come in this big-ass case. It is so huge that uh, I have no idea who the heck would carry this. But anyway, they do not provide another case but this soft case. So that's pretty much it and that big box that it came in. So um, these are called La Grande Belleza, I believe. Um, la, la, la. Like I said, I looked all these up for you guys before so that I could give you some information. So yeah, these are called the Oversized La Grande Belleza sunglasses. And these are, if you're interested, 520 US dollars. And these are just majorly oversized square lenses. They are black on black gradient lenses um, and I wanted a pair of all black sunglasses when I was looking for these. These do have a tiny little LV circle on directly on the lens along with tiny tiny little studs right here little little gold studs and these do say LV on both of them. The sides of them just say Louis Vuitton, 
And I like these because they were a little bit more um, not in your face Louis Vuitton. You know, you can't even tell they are Louis unless you see the side of them really close up. But I really, really like these. I wanted a pair of sunglasses that I could wear without any makeup. You know, those days you get up and you're trying to do some errands, you have a big bun on top of your head, no makeup, no concealer, and then you can wear these big old things and you're good to go. And you still look put together. So that's why I really like these sunglasses. They are a bit heavy compared to my other ones, uh, but they're still pretty nice. Um, this is the side so you can see the front and the other side. Um, Louis Vuitton is not my favorite brand for sunglasses. I don't feel that they, that they're very good quality. Um, I bought these because they were pretty sturdy, but most of them I feel like are not good quality. They're just, it's just pretty much the name. Um, but these are a pair that I like and, um, I really enjoy wearing these. I do wear them a lot. I do not baby them. At all. I don't maybe any of my sunglasses, but um, they are pretty large. So if you're looking for large sunglasses, these are pretty big. Black frame with black lenses, oversized square shape. The end tips supposedly represent the iconic speedy bag. Um, so that's what the tips look like. They both have that little stud on the end there. <clears throat> Let's move on to Gucci. Now, Gucci, um, I really, really, really searched so much. And this is why it took me so long to put up a video because I was searching for these sunglasses so I could tell you what the name was and I could not find them anywhere. I looked and looked and I looked and I spent a long time looking um, so I could give you a, a, an actual name. Even though for the Tiffany ones, I really didn't give you an actual name, but they don't have one. At least I found the sunglasses. But here, in this case, I could not even find these glasses. So anyway, they are tortoise shell, brown, of course, with a black lens. I don't think these are gradient lenses. Um, this is what the sides look like. They have the signature red and green stripes with the word Gucci right there on the corner and then that's what the tip looked like nothing really same thing on the other side and then it says Gucci right up at the top these are super comfortable super casual uh, this is what they look like on the sides in the front and then side and Gucci does give you a nice little case, a little um, wipe to wipe your sunglasses with. And they do give you a soft case, which I don't have at the moment. I do have, actually, I do have this soft case. So it comes like this with a little soft case. But they're super, super oversized bags, so your sunglasses are pretty much like dangling in there because... It's so big, but <clears throat> I like these as well. These are just like super casual, like I said. They're not as dressy, as fancy, but they are pretty cute too. I really like these. And I like this velvet case. It feels pretty nice. And um, if you're wondering about price about these, these were almost 400 I do know that um, I don't know exactly but they were almost 400 and I bought these in New York so that is pretty much it for today's video I hope you did enjoy it and that you got some ideas if you're looking for sunglasses or if you were looking for these in particular I know that the ones that I bought yesterday the sunglasses the Cara Tiffany ones um, these, I know that these are new in their collection, so I know that they do have these available right now. Well, all of them they do, but these are new ones, and again, I'll try them on. I really, really, really love these. They're so cute. But um, yeah, so these are the newest ones, and they're super cute, 
and if you were wondering what they look like on because I know I was and I couldn't find any videos on it so that's why I actually decided to make this video for anyone else that was looking for those particular glasses but anyway I do appreciate you guys watching if you're still with me <laughs> throughout this whole video please give me a thumbs up if you liked it um, and please don't forget to subscribe that really does help a lot let's not forget to be kind to one another especially in these very very difficult times that we're going through right now um, I just feel like this has been a crazy year but um, anyway um, I do thank you all and I will see you in my next video I will leave two videos linked above here if you are not done watching me um, so that you can continue watching and I will see you next time thank you so much